Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to week three. Can you believe it? Week three already of the Bee and Elf Quilt Along. How is everybody doing? Do you have all your fabric? Do you have your fabric yet? Do you have everything cut out? And this week is week three and we are working on the top part of the Bee and Elf. The fun part, piecing it together. If you're just joining us, I want to make sure that you know um, where to get all the good things. So um, make sure that you have signed up for the BNL Quilt Along specially. Even if you've been on the newsletter before, make sure you are on the BNL Quilt Along. Um, quilt Along. There's a sign up right on the home page of um, the Be So Inspired website. And the people that are on that list will be drawn on December 1st for the grand prize which will spread out and um, we're going to have lots of fun with that. So make sure that you are on that uh, email list. Uh, second thing is if you want to get all the freebies for this quilt along, you can either be on that list or you can just head over to the blog section under quilt alongs and sew alongs. There's the be an elf one and there's all the free downloads. So there's letter labels for you specific to this quilt. There's a quick cut, um, cutting cheat sheet. You still need the pattern, but this tells you which pieces to cut first and in what order. And then there's the schedule. So today is week three and we are talking about the B and Elf quilt top. So before we get started, I just want to tell you a bit, a bit about how it's going to be pieced together. And it's kind of important to know because you won't actually be able to piece the entire uh, top together this week. So we are going to sew the whole top of the quilt here. So we're going to piece all of these pieces together, but the quilt is actually not fully assembled until next week. So next week we are going to assemble, or sorry, not, um, next week we'll do the legs, but then we can put them together. Sorry. Um, we are going to assemble this section here first, and then this middle section and this last section, because the quilt pattern itself is actually assembled into three strips. So this strip, this strip and then this with the toe again and so that's kind of important to know so you're not going to make it to assembling all of the pieces um, along the whole top today all right so um the instructions are fully illustrated instructions you're welcome to just sew at your own pace however you feel but i would like to give you a couple of little tips and tricks for how to make things uh, easier just make sure you're checking on a couple of measurements when you're doing things and make your piecing just go that much smoother. We're going to talk about large half square triangles, we're going to talk about half square rectangles, and we're going to talk about fussy cutting a little bit here. So let's get started on that. So here is the two triangles for the half square um, triangles for the shoulders. When you make your um, half square triangle, you are actually going to be making it like this. You're putting your pieces together. I always, especially when it's a big piece like this, I, you can see the line on there already, is I take my ruler and I draw on the fabric so I know exactly where to sew. I sew along, um, I draw along that line, and then I sew a quarter inch on either side, but trim directly on that line. Once you've trimmed directly on that line, you can open up and press your seams and you've ended up with this half square triangle. Now, it does say in here to trim. You want to make sure that you do. It's trimmed to eight and a half by eight and a half. So if I grab my ruler here, um, I have this line. I don't know if it's reading on there or not. A line along my, a diagonal line on my ruler. So you're going to want to line that diagonal line on your ruler up along the diagonal line of your half square triangle and you're going to make sure that it's at eight and a half eight and a half and then you can trim off any extras i've already trimmed this one and then you do the other side uh, and then you go there and you trim along there so then it's completely um, straight because you're going to want to make sure that it's totally straight before you add your next squares your um, number five squares because we're going to put our number five squares on the corner and you're going to draw your line again because it is a little bit larger than in sometimes I don't do it on like two and a half inch pieces or little pieces and I have markers on my sewing machine but I definitely like to do it on bigger pieces and sometimes I even pin them so they don't shift I'm just showing you so we um in a dark thing when you sew it here 
then you're gonna end up with this um, nice little arm. <laughs> so you're gonna sew, press, and trim that part away, and then you have that nice elbow of the arm, and it'll fit nice. If you didn't trim this ahead of time, you might end up with a piece that's a little bit longer like this, and then your point won't be as nice. So really the trimming seems like an extra step, but it's so worth it. <laughs> the second thing I wanna to talk to you today is half square rectangles. So this is the waist of our elf, and in our waist of our elf, we need two half square rectangles, one going in one direction and one going in a second direction. In order to make the half square rectangles, you're gonna take your two pieces, so I'll take my two pieces like this. Notice that they are bigger than those squares and I will put them, the background pieces on top of them. Unlike a half square triangle, a half square rectangle, it, if you can't make two going in opposite directions like you can with a half square triangle. So in a half square rectangle, you need to make two. And um, even if you make two at a time in a half square rectangle way, it's still gonna give you the same side, the same direction of the angle. So you wanna make sure you draw your angles opposite directions. That is the most important part of the half square rectangle tutorial is drawing your angles in opposite directions like this. Very, very, very important. Then the magic happens with this little twist. If you were just to sew along that line right now, you'd end up, oh look, I've, I have extra fabric in there. You'd end up with sort of this um, fanning effect happening, which is not what we want. We want a half square rectangle. So you're gonna take your two corners, twist and rotate them. Good. And then I always pin my half square rectangles because they can get kind of wonky really quickly. And I am going to sew that way. This way I'll end up twisting the sh along the short edge. So I take my two corners. I can't really see with my hand there. Take my two corners and twist along the short edge. And there you go with your second half square rectangle. You're gonna sew along the, both edges, sorry, along both lines, and then you're gonna trim away. This is gonna give you the exact same half square rectangle, and you can decide if you want a big red print in there or pink, so you can just decide which side is uh, the happier side for you. And then you will end up trimmed like this. Then you will take your uh, half square rectangle, and I always press my seams open on them. I press them open, just so that it lays flatter in all the seams when they're joined together and there's not so much bulk happening in these tiny corners. You can notice that this half square rectangle is bigger than the size that I need it to end up as. So if you try to sew this into your quilt without following the, the trimming directions, you're gonna think, oh, what's happening here? You need to make yourself a template and this template for this one, it tells you what size to make is two and a half by four and a half. And this is really, really important. You can use a ruler, but I find a template is just makes it so easy. You can make it out of paper. This is out of like a, a sew-in stabilizer. And I just make sure that I match this corner and match this corner here onto that seam. So it might even look end up looking twisted on your, um, half square rectangle, but that is okay. If the corners are matching in that seam, then you are going to be just fine. All right, and then we'll trim that away. Oh, it's kind of awkward to do it on this angle. <laughs> and um, trim this way. And one more over here. And then I'm going to show you what this looks like. You're going to end up with this beautiful perfect half square rectangle with the points coming right to the corners of your half square rectangle. Isn't that beautiful? So this is the waist of your Be an Elf quilt. Isn't that fun? Half square rectangles. <laughs> and the last thing I wanted to talk to you, I'm just gonna clean up my area. The last thing I wanted to show you today was the buttons. So they're a little bit smaller than maybe people are necessarily used to working with. But I, um, I love working with tiny pieces and I'm going to show you some tricks here. So I fussy cut um, this cute little Santa print in the Holly Holiday and I centered him in a two and a half inch square 
and I did three different skin colors. So I'm going to have three cute little Santa buttons and you're going to take your tiny background pieces there and you can line them up right on the corners of your um, button pieces. And then you're going to sew from corner to corner. You can draw your line again there, or you're just going to sew right along there and trim away the excess. I pressed my seams open. And like I said, I like to press them open there just on tiny pieces, not on the whole big quilt always, but on tiny pieces or there's lots of bulk so that everything just lays flatter. And then even here, I would trim, 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 trim. So I would take my two and a half inch ruler and I would trim him up so that everything is nice and nice and straight. So this is um, already been trimmed, but you can just see how that turned out. So cute. So this is week three. Week three already is just easy piecing. Just put some Christmas music on if you want. And uh, I know it's a little bit early still, but you'll be thankful we started this early um, in a couple of months time. Just sew the top together. Again, just a reminder, the three, you'll, you'll sew the top together, but it will be in three sections. We won't assemble them fully yet. And um, just keep sewing, just keep posting your pictures. I'm really enjoying watching them. If you are in the Inspired Quilting Facebook group, love for you to share in within the group, even all of your progress shots. If you are um, watching this on YouTube, please do like this video and subscribe to the Be So Inspired YouTube channel. And that way you'll get notifications and you'll see all the new things that are coming, all the new videos. Um, and if you want, you can do both. <laughs> <laughs> so, so happy to have you here. So happy that you're sewing along for being an elf with us today and looking forward to seeing you for week four next week. See you then. Bye for now.